man. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. The reason why I say y'all crazy because a lot of y'all are very, very intelligent beings. But boy, y'all spend y'all intelligence just to argue with somebody about something that ain't gonna make you no money. It's like, so put it like this. If you got your last two cents, your last two cents of the day, you ain't gonna have no more cents for the rest of the year. Would you rather spend your two cents on the last argument that you had, or would you rather put it towards something that's gonna profit you? I feel you. Why is this man talk about money? Money is at the end of the world. Money don't buy you happiness. Ah, money, money, money. But I'm trying to tell you, look, I know some people's right now who kids in a terrible position, whether if it's health, schooling. So check me out. You, you're arguing with your neighbor, boyfriend, whatever, about some nonsense. That's what I'm trying to say. The reason why I say like you're a very intelligent person because you can take that same type of argument with the insurance company, with the police, you feel me? With someone to go ahead and put your kids in a better position instead of arguing with your neighbors about what? <laughs> arguing with your boyfriend about what? <laughs> I think it's not intelligent to spend your time on such things. Bro, think about it. Every weekend you get off of work and you argue with your siblings. Why? So Monday through Friday you do all that you go through all this craziness for your jobs better. Your job getting all this benefit out of you. But on the weekend, when you only got two days, you take your two days and you take it all on your family. Oh my God, that is a bad decision. That you're awful worried. Come on, let's go ahead and do better. Get better. You feel me? Let's have conversations that's going to elevate us instead of um, arguing with the people around me for what? And that's right. Next weekend will be the same weekend. Or we can actually change in hopes that next weekend change so let's put some real world narrative in the situation so i got a home girl this girl is awesome i'm talking about awesome she can argue man with anybody and she always gonna win that's why i be scared to even have an argument with the girl and i'll be trying to get her on some next level stuff but check me out because she's so good at confrontation she chooses her confrontations to better her family. And I'll get you to understand. So, most people, when it comes to us food stamps, they get probably like 300. I don't know the numbers about it, but they get low numbers. My homegirl, yo, <laughs> she go argue with the food stamp people. Y'all finna cut out what? <laughs> Y'all finna do what? I can get you these papers to prove. And now, guess what? <laughs> She has the highest, the highest liners of credit when it comes towards food, food stamps. So her kids is eating. Very beneficial for her to argument with these people. God bless. Amen.